This video explains how to handle the warning message warning in ops operation not meaningful for factors in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example and this example is based on the data object that we can create with line two of the code. So after running this line of code, you can see that a new data object called X is appearing at the top right. And we can print this data object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line three of the code. And then you can see that our data object contains different numbers. So let's assume that we want to calculate the square of these numbers using the R programming language. Then we would usually use the code that you can see in line five. However, if we run this line of code, you can see at the bottom that only an A values are returned and the warning message in ops factor not meaningful for factors is returned. And the reason for that is that our data object X is a factor object. So it has the factor class. And if we want to calculate the power of two of a certain value, this value needs to have the numeric class. And for that reason, before we can perform any calculations with our data, we need to convert our factor vector to the numeric class. And we can do that as you can see in line seven of the code. So in this line of code, we are using the S numeric and the S character functions. Uh, please note that it's important to also use the S character function because otherwise the values in your factor object will be changed. And then I'm storing the output of this in a new data object that I'm calling x num. So after running line seven of the code, you can see that at the top right of our studio, a new data object called x num is appearing. And if we print this data object to the bottom of the RStudio console, you can see that the same values as in our original vector are returned. However, you can see that this levels attribute is not returned anymore. And now we can use this data object to calculate the square of each of the element in our data object, as you can see in line 10 of the code. So after running this line of code, no warning or error message is returned anymore, but instead the valid calculations are returned. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.